Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Teveron and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas where we have just successfully defended the town of Good Springs against the Powder Gangers and saved our friend Ringo from a less than good fate. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Thanks. Um... Didn't you say earlier that you couldn't pay me, though? I did have what was left of the Crimson Caravan money, but I wasn't sure if it was my right to just give it away. Fair enough. I owe you more than that, though, so look me up at the Crimson Caravan camp up in New Vegas if you ever visit. You can count on it, sir. And we got a level. Nice. We'll try to hit some break points on some of our skills. Pull up our barter to 25. And our lock picks to 25 for sure. We will take our speech to 35, which I know that the multiples of 25 are skill check break points usually, but it doesn't hurt to go on up. And we'll put the rest into guns because it can always be useful to have more skill in fighting. And we'll get to looting. All right, we'll take a baseball bat just to have a melee weapon in case we run out of, run out of ammunition. I uh, don't want any of those. Now, I'm, I believe that you can use uh, armor to disguise yourself like you are with certain groups in this game. We'll take that cowboy hat for the perception. But I don't just want a, a simple gang outfit because it doesn't have any damage reduction. I want to try to find some armor and then I can disguise myself as part of the powder gangers. Revolver, rounds, caps, magnum, and yeah, there's some armor. We'll take that. So now we have a disguise. We'll loot these last two. A lot of good stuff here. Don't want to get too weighed down, but we can always use weapons for parts to repair our other weapons just to keep them in good condition because as the condition goes down, their accuracy and damage decreases. Or at least their damage decreases for sure. It may not decrease their accuracy. That may be just not true. But we'll walk over here to the general store. We'll equip our hat, repair some of our weapons, and then sell some stuff that we just don't need so that our inventory can uh, be pretty light. Let's see, we can repair this pistol. We can, well, the shotgun is fully repaired, but I guess we can repair one of these single shotguns with another single shotgun. Can I repair that? Nope. Can repair the varmint rifle with another varmint rifle. And we'll put on our hat, because perception is something, if I'm not mistaken, that helps your gun skill. And I continually hit escape when I mean to hit tab to exit the pit boy. Maybe one day I'll get that straightened out in my mind. Hello, Chet. That was a hell of a fight. Let's hope it doesn't bite us in the ass later on. Yeah, not like you helped. Tell me about weapon mods and special ammo. Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's also hollow-point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. Good to know. Um, what do you have for sale? Can do. Okay, so let's go to miscellaneous. And... Don't want to get rid of bobby pin or cases. I think you can use empty syringes to make medicine. I'm not for certain though. We don't need these fission batteries. I'm not into energy weapons. I think scrap metal can be used for ammunition. So 
we will sell those and I want to sell the throwing spears sell the knife as well we got a baseball bat throwing spears I don't want those and that's good for now man it's our inventory to get there with you take it easy yeah yeah and now we will head towards Prim. Always good to quick save every so often, just in case you die unexpectedly or get a game crash. It isn't quite as necessary in this game, I don't think, as much as it was in, say, Skyrim, uh, where a grizzly bear could just pop up out of nowhere and rip your head off without a moment's notice. I know when I played that game, I was quick saving just every few seconds. I mean, it's one thing to die and, you know, try again, but when you've got a lot of progress that you had that you have to redo, that's just frustrating. I don't like that at all. And I don't think it's too long a walk to Prim. They said it had a roller coaster, and I think I see a roller coaster right there. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the crumbly crappy Falling apart road again and kill some rad scorpions with my gun. Okay, we got a sign here. Gene is ahead. Prim to the right. Las Vegas to the left. We'll explore over here quickly. Discovered, yes, we know about fast travel already. Suitcase is empty. Skydiving? Open door to Jean skydiving. This must be a, must have been a tourist attraction. Uh, Pre-nukes. see what we got in here. A locker? Locked? Sunset sarsaparilla. Bottle cap. A star bottle cap. Those are special, I think. Key? Hmm. Is that two? Yep. Okay. Nice stuff in here. I don't think I want that. We'll take the cases and the varmint rifle, though. That's all I see that's in here. look like powder gangers let's see if we yeah a faction armor disguises you as a member of that faction yeah I was correct you can disguise yourself so we'll go down and talk to these gentlemen see what's going on explosives crate you eyeballing hey. me you eyeballing me damn running low on smokes again okay Never gets old when something blows up. Yeah, you guys are mentally unstable, aren't you? Um, I should probably do the world a favor and eliminate you from existence. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, what the hey. Let's take them by surprise. Headshot. 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 Never go. Nice. They never saw it coming. I've never seen so many people decapitated by bullets in all my life. Didn't know that was really possible. These guys have got a lot of stuff on them. Is that police baton better than my baseball bat? Uh, 
No, not really. Okay. Can we take explosives now? We can. Long fuse. Don't want a wrench. I've lost karma. Now, I gained karma for killing the powder gangers, but I lost karma for stealing their explosives. That doesn't... That doesn't totally jive in my world view. Dresser. Grimy pre-business... Pre-war business wear. Speech plus five. That's pretty nice. That may come in useful. Did I take that? No. Take it. Quick save. Got to remember to take this powder ganger gear off before we get to prim so that people don't think we're one of them. And here's some more. Powder ganger camp list. Oh, wow. They got doggone mines placed around here. Did that hurt me? I mean, no, but Came really close. Find a. Maybe they have a bed around here I can rest in. And they do. Let's rest for like. Say. Three. Three hours. Okay, did that help? Yes, it did. Good. Nice. And since we've started on this journey, I don't see any real reason to stop you with our extermination me? plans. Especially when they keep asking us if we're eyeballing them. We're not eyeballing you. Uh, we're just... Introducing you to our friend, Mr. 10mm Handgun. Nice, and hopefully these guys have as much good stuff as their friends did. Yep, dynamite. I don't know if I'm ever going to actually use dynamite, and that looks like a weapon mod. Have to probably find a repair bench or something to use that. Gun. You can always use those weapons to repair other weapons. Just head on down the road. Watching out for the local wildlife. All this nuclear fallout causes some interesting mutations of you already seen in the geckos and mantises that we had to kill earlier. Not to mention the gigantic bloat flies. It's like I can put away my gun. Move a little bit quicker that way. Oh, and speaking of geckos. Yeah, well. Where is the 95%? Well, it's not letting me target it, so I guess we'll just take that. Dead? So I got stuff on both sides. I'm going to change my armor out to something that's a little better. Hopefully we won't run into any more powder gangers. <clears throat> Looks like the gecko's fighting a red roach. I'm not going to chase him. Five experience isn't worth it. The waste of time and the danger. Excuse me. Take a second to rehydrate. Try to keep my throat from getting so dry. And I believe we're here. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. 
Says who? What's going on? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Well, that's not really an option. I'm looking for some guys who shot me in the head. Yeah, you're an NCR trooper. Shouldn't you be protecting the town? We'd love to, but they don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. And why is that? We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. Don't want empty bottles. Yeah, I think this town has seen much, much better days. Which goes for most of this post-apocalyptic nuclear fallout world. You, Lieutenant Hayes? Sergeant McGee. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. That's a mouthful. You want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. Okay, bye. Sir. That's right, I'm a captain. I outrank you. Uh, Hayes isn't in here. Uh, is this all stealing? Let's not steal. I don't want to lose karma. Evening. This tent? Yeah, Lieutenant Hayes is tent. Uh, which one of you is Lieutenant Hayes? Just a trip. There's Lieutenant Hayes. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? Um, nothing. I just got shot in the head and left for dead in a grave, dug up by a robot. What's your business? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. Yeah. What's the problem? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some mm -hmm. guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Um, what about the correctional facility? Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup killed the guards that weren't able to escape and have been ransacking the area since then all right uh do you have any info on these convicts not much they've taken to calling themselves powder gangers i know them mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons they got organized faster than i would have thought most of them at least thankfully the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force so they aren't getting anything in the way of support well, I took out a bunch of powder gangers up the road there. Any reward for that? Uh, other questions? I have some free time. Ask away. Goodbye. Sir. Evening. Okay. So Prim is under siege by a faction of the powder gangers that aren't powder gangers, but were originally powder gangers. And now need to be exterminated. And we got some mines here. I'm going to quick save. If I remember correctly, you can pick up these mines if you're quick enough on the draw. That's not to say that I am. Woo! Oh, that'll get your adrenaline pumping. Man, oh man. Whew. Nice. I got some experience for that. That's nice. But the real reward is that I didn't get blowed up. Let me just quit save so we don't have to go through that again. Let's 
some outbuildings over here. Deputy Beagle's residence. Well, we will not go in there then since that's considered off limits. What about this place? Prim's Sheriff's Office. Another camera. Empty. Anything in here? Uh, sensor module? That might be useful. Filing cabinets. We can sell pre-war money. A uh, reloading bench. Let's see. Yeah, scrap metal to lead. I thought you could use do something with scrap metal. We'll go ahead and do that. All right. I don't think we have enough black or any black powder to actually reload. What's I didn't do this. You guys saw me come in here. And I found the bodies just like this. You gotta back me up. If they come asking questions, you tell them I did not kill these people who are the sheriff and his wife. Empty cabinet. Shouldn't open that, it said empty. I'm just a little bit flustered about the two dead people lying in bed, almost nude. Whew. It's gotta be the work of these powder ganger. enemies on the radar oh they saw me try to catch them off guard as they come around the corner here come on little buddy come on little buddy well I missed two point blank shots in bats but that's okay Escaped convict. Rounds, bottle caps. All these guys have got so much good stuff on them. Let's uh let's use our varmint rifle for a while. Since we can repair this stuff up. May actually be a better weapon to be fighting these guys with. saving good to keep you from losing so much progress whether it be by death or by game crashes which do happen sometimes I've got hello um Are you now? let's see yeah I'm gonna take this well, we did have an 87% shot down there. I'm going to go for center body mass. One thing about this varmint rifle, you don't get nearly as many shots as you do with the pistol. Hiding? You just gonna let me walk right I'm up to here. you? Must be out of am ammunition or something. We'll try in the legs. Damn! I'm not liking this varmint rifle too much, <laughs> even in the repaired state. I think I'm gonna switch back to my trusty 10 millimeter pistol. Seems to do more damage and I get a lot more shots within vats. Okay. Let's... 
caravan or Mojave Express delivery order four of six. Can we read that? Oh, so this must be the delivery order we had already. This is his. Deliver the, they're the same. Recipient. An agent of the recipient will meet you at the checkpoint, take possession of the package, and pay for the delivery. Bring the payment to Johnson Nash at the Mojave Express Agency in Prim. Bonus on completion, 250 caps. Two oversized. Huh. That's another courier who's been killed. Damaged robot. It's an advanced model robot with a reinforced frame. It is well weathered and appears to have seen a good bit of action. There is very little in the way of serious damage. Hmm. Can we try to fix it? Some servos and gyroscopes need to be recalibrated and replaced, but it looks as though the robot can be repaired with a repair of 65 or higher. I don't have that. Examine the electronics. A few of the primary electronic systems seem to be fully functional and the redundant systems are all working. If you bypass some of the primary systems, the secondary systems should compensate and make some of the repairs easier. Science 55 or higher required. I don't have that. So another option. Can we repair with parts? Uh, need three pieces of scrap metal. I just used my only one to make lead for... Uh, for ammunition, two sensor modules, and some scrap electronics. I have one sensor module. We'll leave it alone for now. Maybe come back and see if we can do that later. Empty. So this is the postmaster's house as well as the office. Where's he at? Vicky and Vance? Is that a little out of the way casino, maybe? Vicky and Vance Casino. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. And who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. So you're the postmaster. Husband of Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Yeah, that's coincidence. I'm a courier with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. Well, I lost a package when I was shot in the head. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Sure do. Oh, so you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. Uh-huh. And what was strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. You mean Victor? Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. He canceled, you say? Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as like a rain, you were still kicking. That seems very strange. And he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked uh, Or something. Out. Do you know who he was or where he went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that and turn down the money too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Enough for me to say. Or maybe you tipped off some guys who shot me in the head. 
yeah. Did those guys who shot me in the head pass this way? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Huh. Yeah. How can I find them? Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. Not my friend. He may have heard where they were going. Okay. Prib's deputy is being captured by powder gangers and Bison Steve and needs to be rescued. Well, well, well. Don't go getting yourself shot. All right, folks, we'll call it there for right now. If you've enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more awesome content posted every day. Until next time, we'll be seeing you.